All right, hi everybody, my name's Adam, and this is the piano bench that I just got off Amazon. They also sell it on eBay. You can see it's this one. Uh, walnut duet sized, leather adjustable piano bench. And um, it says 100% genuine leather, 27 inches long, made out of solid hardwood. And uh, we'll take a look at that and see what we think how it stacks up to what they say. Anyway, you can also get this on eBay. I think it's a few bucks a little cheaper right now on eBay, but not by much. So here's how it came. Um, got the legs in here. Let's take one of these out. Look at the finish. Focus there. You can see from the reflection of the light, it's pretty um, glossy. I think they make two kinds of finishes though. So anyway, just a little rubber bumper on the bottom of the leg. Pretty simple there. Let's take a look at this. Now, where did I put that? They did throw in a sample piece of leather. Alright, so looking at it here, this is obviously the bottom. Here's a little leather sample they gave you. It feels kind of plasticky on top. I have another piece of leather here. This is just real leather. You can kind of see the difference. They're both shiny. And uh, let's flip it over. See if I can compare it here. This one is, is more, you know, uh, how would you describe it? Carpety than this. I think this is the manufactured leather. I don't think this is real leather. And uh, you can see from the edge that the color doesn't go all the way through on the sample. So what's going to happen when somebody sits down with a belt buckle or, or a, you know, one of those rivets in their jeans or something? It's going to scratch and it's going to be lighter because it's going to be revealing that uncolored part there. Um, I know, <clears throat> oh, what's the name of it? Somebody please put it in the comments. Um, there's bonded leather, is that what it's called? I know they, they make leather out of scraps of leather. They grind it up and they add some sort of glue and they press it out into sheets of what they call bonded leather. And it's not nearly as good as just real. Uh, authentic leather so I think that's what this is but I'm not that educated on it so I can't tell for sure now okay so you have the part you sit on and this you know you, you uh, I did look at it and that is what this sample is made out of but this is not so this is the seat that is the sample this part is a cheaper material uh, let's see if I can show you a piece of it here yeah here we go you can see where they stapled it in. Uh, focus. It's that, see that web mesh? It's a real thin um, backing. So it's not the same. But you're not exactly sitting on this. But again, if it gets, this is uh, going to be easier to get ruined. If you hit something on the side, it's going to rip open. It's kind of cheap. Well, not kind of, it is cheap. Okay, so they said solid hardwood. Well, that's not true. This is plywood. The legs are solid uh, hardwood. Uh, right here, you can take a look. At the There's the end grain. But here on the edge of the seat, you obviously see the plywood stripes. And uh, they covered it up with a edge veneer on the side. I mean, but whatever, this is going to be fine. It's not, um, plywood's good. It maintains its um, uh, structure pretty well. I'm not really bothered by that. I mean, it's only $200. It's not that much. So I'm going to pop this out and put it on the bench. Let me put the camera down. All right. Uh, yeah, this is called a duet, but it is... See, that's it for the box. It's just those two things. So really, you're just putting the legs on. 
This is pretty small. I'm surprised that they say two people. You know, a thin adult and a small kid could sit on this. I'll, uh, after we put it together, I'll put it on the piano. You can see what it looks like. So, legs are super easy to put on. They give you this uh, wrench here. All right, so I'm gonna put some thread locker on the threads here. It's a little too much. This stuff always comes out quicker than I think. And uh, you can see just this runny little glue that locks the threads so that the um, legs won't come loose later. Yeah, it's worth it. It's cheap. It's only about, uh, I think, five or seven dollars you get it. Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, it's worth worth having Okay, right here on the side, there's a staple there and a staple there. There's nothing here. I mean, that's pretty liberal, you know, of a gap. So, and there's, you know, you're going at like two inches between staples here. So I think I got one of these um, uh, staplers that I can put in. These are uh, thicker gauge than regular paper stapler, but I think I'll put in a few more along there. pretty grindy it's not that smooth maybe that's just because it hasn't been up and down much but it's taken a fair amount of torque on your wrist to turn this let's go back up it's a little easier maybe it's just the paint on the uh, gears here but after a while, I think I'm going to grease this. Grease all, uh, grease the gears. I'm going to grease that part there. You can see where it's rubbing. So anywhere where you can see that it's rubbing off the paint, that's where all the friction is. Um, anyway, that's about it for the underside. So again, legs are solid, but this is um, the frame under here is plywood. And then there's no reason why the frame here wouldn't be plywood as well. It just has to be. They're not going to do solid wood. Yeah, I was having a hard time deciding whether to get walnut or the cherry because the piano is actually cherry, but the finish is so bad that it looks more like walnut. So it's kind of this in-between color. And uh, this brown is definitely a walnut brown, but there is, you know, more... There is a bit of red to it, so the walnut uh, was a good choice, I think, for my panel. You'll see it up against it. Okay, let's take a look at the workmanship here. Eh, these are pretty crap hinges. That's all. That one's already coming out, and the screws, you know, they, they don't close flat. You see them sticking up a bit. 
and that's what's pushing this hinge apart. That's kind of crap. Pardon my language. This is no good. Here, you can see it's just kind of there, sloppy. Um, what's all this? You can feel underneath. It must have just. That's kind of sloppy work there too. See if this stuff will even stay in. Yeah, I could pull this whole thing. Look, it's barely glued on, barely. So this will probably come out and sag after a while. You're going to have to reattach this uh, material here. And this is just garbage. This is just garbage. Whatever they used. I mean, they didn't even put it in cleanly there. Hmm. Not impressed. Look at the cut. It goes up, down. It looks like somebody just cut this with scissors and put it in. I mean, it's really, I'd say, pretty cheap. It might look nice from afar, but in practice, this is really thin. You put something with at all any sharp edge, maybe a spiral thing, spiral um, music book, it's going to nick this up and tear this up. So maybe you want to put some other th uh, material down there if this is what you're going to get. So anyway, 200 bucks though, it's not bad. I mean, what do you expect? It's, it's, uh, it's a piano bench, 200 bucks. If you have a nice piano, you know, if you spend a lot of money on yours, you want to get something a little nicer than this, I would imagine. I wouldn't get this one if I spent, uh, you know, 10 grand on a piano. I wouldn't get a $200 bench. All right, looking at this leather, they call it. Um, I can't see this lasting terribly long. Uh, we'll see. I'll leave updates or you can ask me in the description of the video if you're wondering if this how this is holding up. I guess it also depends on how much it's um, being used as well. There's their logo. Uh, I noticed here, let's see if the camera can pick it up. See that edge? Now that was, I'm sure, white when this corner wore off and then they used some little stain and darkened it up. But expect that to happen on every corner here. It's going to happen here because it sticks out and it's going to get rubbed down to white. You remember when we looked at the side of the leather that it wasn't stained all the way through. So guaranteed this is not real leather. I can tell the difference. This is obvious real leather. You can, f you can feel it. This feels like um, plastic, a bit plasticky. Not only. Still, not atrocious. I'm not unhappy with it, but don't expect, you know, the best seat ever. All right, Abraham, you want to try it? See if you can adjust it. I want to see how hard it is or not hard. Well, I don't get what it does when you adjust it. You got to spin that and it'll go up or down the whole chair. It's going up. How hard is it to do? Um... Not too hard and not kind of easy, kind of hard. Does that feel like the right height? It looks like you're still a little low. I don't think you can do it sitting on it, can you? Yeah. It's probably a little too hard. How much room there is? Okay. Just enough for two kids. Let me try. Sitting on it. Okay. Daddy, Feels all right. Do you feel like you're falling off? Hardly, if, no? at, if, if at all. Oh, you got some room. Okay. And I'm right on the edge, so there's not much elbow room between us, but you could do it. All right, let's see. What was the other thing we were going to yeah. do? And it's it, sitting on it, I didn't feel any buttons. I'm only a hundred and about fifty-five pounds, so I don't know if someone heavier could feel them. 
All right, Abraham, give it a try. Let's see what you can do. Let me do one note at a time. After adjusting this up and down a few times, I've noticed that this metal can bind. Uh, it won't slide well enough so it stays in the same spot even though you're spinning the screw down there. The threads are moving but this isn't moving and so it's pushing and tweaking the metal. You don't want to do that because you don't want to bend anything out of place and make it even worse. So this really does need to be greased and I've put some on. I'm going to put on a bit more. Uh, not oiled. Use grease. You know, it's kind of like any kind of uh, automotive grease. Oil will dry dry up too quick. So I'm putting it on the gears, on the threads there, and on these tracks. There's eight of these. Top bottom, top bottom, and the top bottom there. And that will really help in making this last a lot longer. And it won't be so hard to adjust as well. So... Go ahead and do that if you buy this bench. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you, giving you some more information and uh, helped you in your buying decision on this bench. It's kind of what I expected. And uh, so again, this piano is not worth a terrible lot. So the, the this bench works for it. Anyway, have an awesome day. Bye.